This is another sneaker that I didn't think I'd be able to get my hands on. Reason being, it's usually sort of more limited and uh, it's a, a downed uh, 2002R in the charcoal colorway. And it's either that they made a lo loads of pairs or no one was really interested in it. So it's one of the two combinations. Um, and maybe people are getting jowled for tea, you know, when because of the fact that it's kind of their products are sort of very simplistic touches. They're not really anything that's sort of noteworthy over a GR apart from the, the name. And but the box is uh, just very minimalistic. It's very sort of jowned. Uh, so you've got the uh, how you say jowned branding and then you've got the Gore-Tex label on the box as well. And then the, the trainers themselves I actually think when I looked at them earlier I thought they were actually quite cool actually they're not not as bad as I thought they would be and this is it and so it comes with the uh, toggle lace mechanism I understand probably why people didn't like go for these uh, partly because winter's nearly over and also the other part was when you see them online they look a bit sort of I don't know just uh, more sort of chunky I suppose in terms of uh, a normal 2002 R silhouette and now I've, after sort of seeing them in hand, I, I realise why that is, and I'll try and explain that. The material on here is actually Gore-Tex protected, so the mesh upper and also this uh, suede here, it feels like it, even though it's sort of brushy suede and it's quite nice to the touch, it feels like it's protected uh, from the Gore-Tex material, or at least some sort of uh, Gore-Tex material sort of sprayed on. Uh, and the... The inner lining is that's that's where the the issue is, I suppose. Like in, in terms of what this track, why this train sort of looks really sort of big and sort of chunky and stoutier than other 2002 R's and, and not sort of sleek. So the thing is, is there's, there's quite a lot of padding on the inside, and that's mainly because of sort of the the Gore-Tex and sort of reinforcement to stop the any kind of water to sort of come through the sneaker, and that's why it looks a bit more kind of like I said, bigger or taller and from that perspective it kind of sort of loses some of the 2002R appeal and look but having said that it does look more similar to a AMX Plus in that way because it, it just looks like a more sort of chunkier almost sort of trail shoe vibe that is given me now uh, versus a, a standard 2002R runner and then you've got the jound on the back as well so with the New Balance dual logo sort of thing and the the tongue is blacked out so there's nothing no labels on here and then the other part of it is just just a simple sort of outsole really it's just all blacked out and it's a, again with one of those sort of jammed simple sort of sneakers but with this one I don't particularly mind it I think it's quite nice and in person especially like more so and when you put them on feet you still get the same sort of comfort that you would from a 2002 R and uh, I think the only issue for me is just so it's more of a, a winter shoe and, and from that respect I think it's one of those things that you probably won't be wearing that much now and then you're probably saving for the, the next winter or autumn that's coming up but it's a cool shoe I think this heel here is reflective but overall a cool shoe I do like it but it's not like a, a must-have I suppose for anyone out there and unless you're sort of a really sort of jowned uh, diehard fan or a 2002 diehard fan uh, but it's still cool so here are the details with the new balance 2002R jound charcoal it comes with a grey black colour scheme and it has a absorb um, SBS midsole uh, which uh, allows for sort of impact absorption and cushioning and it also has uh, energy uh, gel like uh, cushioning as well so that's on the heel and uh, provides uh, shock absorption but I also find it very sort of soft and it also has a stability web uh, TPU plate uh, on the outsole and uh, the outsole also in this one has uh, endurance uh, so the, it means that the outsole should last a lot longer than usual and it's uh, made up of mainly sort of mesh and suede materials and the price is £170. So with the uh, Comfort Exizing, I think these have a soft uh, to medium sole and uh, much like any other sort of 2002R and 1906R, you're not going to feel uh, that uncomfortable. So it's actually one of those trainers that you can pretty much wear all day and be okay with. 
and they also have uh, great uh, arch and heel support because of the fact that they were a runner uh, predominantly uh, so in that respect it should be fine and uh, you can go true to size on these and I went sort of a half a size up because I kind of knew with this one you had sort of the Gore-Tex layering on it so uh, I would recommend uh, mainly sort of going half size up unless you have a sort of on the sort of smaller end of the your sizing and I say the traction is very good I wouldn't say it's like a wintry good but it is still very good for a runner so with the look and style it's a futuristic uh, runner so it's very much in the 2k aesthetic and this one can be worn to auto winter time because of the Gore-Tex layering and uh, sort of more casual wear I don't think you can dress these up in all honesty they're mainly look like kind of trail shoes in this, this uh, regard and I would go with the black laces that come with it, but the toggle laces, but there was also the trying sort of grey laces or even sail. Sail would, I think, work well with this one. So with the final thoughts, I like the fact that it's a 2K runner aesthetic and it's, it's comfortable like any other 2002R. And I also like the, that, the fact they're using sort of the light insoles, which provides that sort of added comfort. And with this one, you get the Gore-Tex layering as well. So I think they kind of use some sort of protective spray on the sway parts and uh, or, or some sort of treatment and also on the mesh area there's a, some some sort of Gore-Tex mesh lining which uh, helps uh, however that does mean you have a slightly thicker lining uh, in the inside so therefore I would sort of recommend uh, maybe just looking at sort of going half size up and the toggle laces as well so I do like that as well it's just it's just the, the easier to sort of tie up especially sort of if you're walking around and hiking in terms of the cons, the costs, it's more than the usual uh, 2002R, which I think is high anyway. So I think with this one, it's even more high at £170. And I think the slightly chunkier look probably to put off a lot of people, in all honesty, because it just looks strange when you see them on, on photos. But when you get them in hand and put them on feet, they look a lot nicer and a bit like an Air Max Plus. So with the ratings, I give the look and style for this one a 3. It's, it's nice looking, but I don't think it's... It kind of loses some of the aesthetic appeal of a 2002R because usually with the, these sort of runners they look more sleek and uh, a bit more sort of thin sort of silhouette and with this one it just feels more chunkier so they try to make it more of a sort of trail vibe which uh, is, is, is okay but I wouldn't say I'll be like jumping at, jumping off my feet to kind of grab a pair. The comfort as always is the same so it's a 5 out of 5 with this one you just get a little, more, a little bit more lining in there so it keeps you sort of warmer for the winter months. And the quality is good as well, so with this pair the suede is quite nice actually on there and whatever treatment they've given to it, it does sort of help with the, the waterproofing and it looks cool and it's quite sort of thick cut as well. So with the pricing, i uh, give that a 4 as well, it's just priced a bit too high, I think around the sort of £140, £150 mark and then a standard 2002R should be lower. But overall it's still a really nice sneaker and I'd give it a 4 out of 5, I don't think it's a 5 out of 5, I think there's other jam collaborations which I think are nicer. But with this one being sort of more sort of utilitarian, so you can sort of wear it during the winter time and not really sort of give too much of a not give too much of a care when you're wearing these. So these these are meant to be sort of worn every day and, and should provide to be sort of quite rugged. I think my only issue would be is the outsole being a 2002R. It's not perfect for winter time, but it's it's fine. But usually when you're sort of wearing a, a trail shoe, it's, 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 it's they have a slightly more sort of thicker outsole, which uh, in that case I'd be sort of inclined to sort of wear a salmon for example.